Hello everybody, welcome to the second video in this series of linked list versus array in JavaScript. The last time we looked at uh, why do you need a linked list or an array? Basically, why do you need a list? Because linked list and array, they are all a list. In this video, we will look at the difference between the two. What is the difference between a linked list and an array? Now, to, to demonstrate this, let's start with how an array and linked list are stored on our computer, on your computer and on my computer. So I'm going to do a little bit of drawing here. So um, that is not a way to start this. All right. I'm going to draw or an attempt to draw a memory in your computer and in my computer. And I promise I'll explain what I'm doing. So I'm basically um, drawing each unit in, in memory. Now, pretend this is memory. Memory. Okay. Now, when you store a, a character, your computer finds a space, a unit of space. Each of these, we can pretend they are squares and call them um, a unit of computer memory. So in our own case, for example, let's say we want to store um, the number one, okay? We want to store the number one. Um, our computers will go ahead and just randomly pick uh, a, 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 a unit here. And this way one will, let me use a different color. So yeah, so one will be stored here. If I need to store number two, it's gonna randomly pick a unit and store it. Each of these stores a unit, a character. So it could be an A, uh, for example. So, um, so let, let's 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 um, demonstrate this. Let me raise delete these. Um, that's not a way to delete. Okay. So let me let us. Um, I'm going to leave this one. Um, let's say we have one, two, three, four, and five. This is an array. Okay. And we have a linked list. I'll just abbreviate LL also has one, two, three, four, and five elements in it. If we define an array, this is what our computer will do. Our computer needs five of this unit consecutively, contiguously, meaning no break in between. So you, your computer will find um, like well, your computer will try to find a space uh, in your memory that contains five of these without a break. So for example, one, two, three, four, five, no breaks. Or one, two, three, four, five, also no break. So let's demonstrate this. So let's randomly pick a place. One, two, three, four, five. Or it can be um, one, two, 
three, four, five. The key here is for an array, oops, for an array, the units have to be contiguously the same empty uh, spaces. And if you don't have five spaces, let's demonstrate this. Um, let me put these, everything inside. Let's assume this is full, this is full, this is full, this is full, this is full. And we want to store an array, okay? Well, your computer will try to find five of these spaces that are empty. But check this out. We have one here that is empty and two here that is empty. Well, they are contiguous, right? But the next one is not empty. And then you have one that is empty. So your computer won't use this. Your computer won't do something like this one, two, and three to store as an array. No, it won't do that. It will try to find five of these empty units that are stuck um, together. And unfortunately, since our memory is going like this, it's counted from here to here to here, there isn't any space. Let's try this. One, two, three, four. We need five, but your computer can't store the five here. Nope, it's an array. That won't work. If you define an array and you only and your computer memory looks like this, and you define an array like this, your computer basically crash because it will be able, it will be able to store it. So, um, now we will we are going to look at how a linked list works. How do we store a linked list? And that is where the, the main advantage of linked list is over an array. I'm gonna stop the video here and I'm gonna record um, um, the, the, the linked list in the next video. I hope you join me. Thank you. Bye-bye.